All right, so my husband is leaving for the store. I'm trying to read this Psycho Socrates things. I already read it. I, we read it for English class. But, I mean, they make me forget what I'm reading half the time. My husband's going out to the store. He's going to go get his dad, I guess. We're going to catch you. It's only a matter of time there, buddy. I'm going to catch you. You're going to get busted on what you've done to me. I think I seen Dr. D. Joseph's brother at the friggin' party yesterday at the... the oh, you just made me back up on your toe. toe! You just pulled me backwards onto your toe. So, Wait, hold on. because yeah. doc, I guess he yeah. knows Dr. D. Joseph yeah. is guilty. I'm to Are you guilty yeah, or not guilty? I think um, you're guilty. Oh my god, that's a giant D. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Look at that! It's a giant! That's a bumblebee. She's a giant! There goes my husband. He's going that way towards Harding Woods Trailer Park. Mr. Man's gone. Mm -hmm. Leaders within the tribe of Judah cast lots, and the clan of the Zerahites is chosen. They get the short straw. And then all the Zerahite leaders get together and cast lots to find out which family gets the short straw and the family of Zimri does. I guess my husband's going to have his posse go to this address now and 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 Mom. do a home invasion too on that like they did to everybody else. Huh? Is that what they do? They like to go do home invasions and, and, and hurt people that are close to me, right? They send all their fucking mob buddies there. Order posse or whoever else they want to send to wherever and do home evasions and threaten and then kill people. I'm glad that works. They kill anybody that gets in the way, that's for sure. I've noticed that. Anybody that gets in the way of what they're doing, they make a... Here is a... a, a what is going to happen to you or this is going to happen to this person. Well, bring it on. They're not going to kill me. They're not going to kill me. They're, they won't kill me until they're done. That's because, you know why? Because I have premonitions and I, they need my, they mean my, they need me. They need me. And church is all done. <sighs> anyway. So praise be to God. Hope is in front of me and my children. Peace will come over us. So that's my husband. He's le he left for the store to go shopping, to do the daily shopping. <laughs> and I'm really sick and tired of here. Right after that, there. here's the next, the Newark call. Now, if we look at my, if we look at the, the, the mob people today, not Al Capone, I didn't really study all them, and that's who they're talking about now in class. Because, I mean, I studied all the, the recent upcoming mob mobsters and all the ones that are already still alive and stuff. And the ones that are in my town, that's, they're the mobs that I've studied. And the recent and the, and the round. It's fine. But in my organized crime class, we're going all the way back, to, supposedly we're going all the way back to Al Capone and... And how this organized crime started, which is true. I mean, I guess 
um, when they were talking about the railroads, you know, because there was no nothing around in this country, you know. So what happens is, I guess, Rockefeller, I guess he's talking about Rockefeller, okay? Rockefeller owns all this stuff. And in order for you to okay. progress, you had to pay. And Stanford was the railroad company. I'm trying to remember. Everything's blended. A, a lot of my stuff starts to blend in together with, because of what they've done to me. So, but anyway, so it's funny yesterday. So, yeah. So anyway, so New Newark, New Jersey is one of the mobs that I studied. Um, who was that one up there in Newark? And I get a lot of phone calls from them. So there is one of the Newark mob calls, I take it, or Newark uh, organized crime call. Can't say mob because right now it's an organized crime that's going on because... Um, they're organizing different groups at the colleges like the JAG, the Japanese Guild at the um, Gloucester County College. They're organizing the, um, the Japanese, the Orientals, the Vietnamese people all. There's different groups at my college that they're doing. The Christian groups, they did the animal advocates because of what my husband's done to my, my cat, uh, with my dog, and what Lisa did to the dog, and them, um, they're trying to go against me, trying to say, they're trying to blame me for some type of animal abuse, but they're not going to blame me, because it's going to come back and bite them all in the ass, because who in the fuck kind of mind bring, comes up with some off the wall fucking bullshit? They planned this out. When did they plan this out? Their little lies, their schemes to try to hurt me, to try to get the animal advocacy against me, which Melissa Norbeck was my English teacher for that one. And she fished for information back in 2014. And, and a bunch of other, other stuff. So they're organizing all kinds of different groups and and stuff against me or uh, together to put that way anyway so truth's going to be told and any of you people who think you're going to organize a so-called group or uh, clubs they're called clubs paralegal club bible club book clubs so you and your book club and Chinko, you and your book club, how's your book club doing? So, but anyway, that's besides the point. So that was the other one that came in while I was doing church, while I was listening to church earlier. So anyway, Truth will be told, I'm honest. I do nothing wrong. I'm out to please others, and that's that was that, and that's what's got me. Got that was, I was a people pleaser, and that that's the that's what did me wrong, because I was always out to try to help others, but. Help others and peace others. But that's all right. No problem. Peace be with us. Truth be told. Justice will be served. Oh, by the way, yesterday, then they had all my brothers and sisters who partied with them. Um, when I was a teenager, when I was four years old, they had all kinds of parties at my house at, when I was like on Saturdays and blah, blah, blah. So you had all the teenagers. I, I walked up to a couple of my sisters. You're acting just like you were when I was four years old watching these assholes get drunk when I was four and five years old. I said, you reminded me of, I used to sit there and watch them all when I was four, five, six, seven, and eight years old. Praise be to God. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. More later. 
Hallelujah. Amen.